Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor, and in today's video, we'll discuss the symptoms of a bad ECM. The ECM is like the brain of your vehicle, since it controls its key elements. It makes different adjustments to the engine, like managing the engine timing and the fuel-to-air ratio. It collects data from the other sensors and uses it to calculate fuel for maximum efficiency. A bad ECM is a serious problem since it interferes with major car functions. So, what are the dangers of a bad ECM? The car may not start. If the car's ECM has a problem, you may experience challenges trying to start it. Engine shutting off. Since the ECM ensures that the car performs properly, a bad ECM can make the engine operate slowly or shut off on its own. Failed emission test. Not solving the problem with the ECM can make you fail an emissions test, as the car may produce a lot of colored smoke. Now, what are the common symptoms to look out for? Check engine light is on. If you notice that this warning light is always on, it could mean a problem with the vehicle's ECM. Increased emissions. Since one of the functions of the ECM is to control the emission system, Increased emissions could be a symptom of a faulty ECM. Problem with the door lock. The body control module, which controls central locking, works with the ECM, and a problem with the door locks could indicate a faulty ECM. Bad fuel economy. If you notice that you're paying more for gas, a bad ECM could be the cause, since it may be preventing the engine from knowing how much fuel it should burn. To sum up, here are quick tips on how to fix the issue. Start by inspecting the ECM and then run a diagnostic test on it. Take the vehicle to a professional technician to determine if they need to repair or replace the engine control module. Thanks for watching.